Hi guys! I've noticed you liked the last video talking about interesting facts about the Steven Universe designs you might have not known. So here I came up with more interesting facts. Let's begin! One cool fun fact is that Rose Quartz's skin tone and hair aren't really random. Gems when shapefisting can move their color scheme to wherever they want. We have saw Amethyst doing this the most to match Steven's colors. Meanwhile Garnet and Pearl haven't because their darker color is their hair. And it already matches Steven's way, darker hair color, lighter skin tone. The thing is, that pink diamond when turning into rose quartz, she moved her skin tone color. To her hair, and the hair color to her skin. The colors change a bit of their original hue. But still they are that. And where Rose gets her white colors in the dress. Well, we have saw Pink Diamond already had white tones all over her design, this explaining. That, a gem cannot create new colors when shapefisting, but moving them around is their liking. Another fun fact that some people have mentioned is that White Diamond's color palette, when is saturated a lot, will get. Her original colors, this is false. And I will tell you why. Those PNGs aren't actually official, they are made by fans in the Steven Universe wiki. The most famous one and with most information, the thing is that if we do the same with white diamonds. Official model sheet shown in the R book, end of an era you will notice the only thing that increases color when saturated is her cape a bit. And is because white diamonds colors are sort of a very very downgraded blue. This doesn't mean any relation with blue diamond of course is just a design choice when using white colors you slyly move the hue to blue to look a bit colorful but still in grayscale. The thing is that she would've looked weird if the shadow colors are orangish or yellowish. Here are some examples. Oh, and a great examples inside the show are Snowflake Obsidian and Obsidian. Their color palettes are grayscale, but is not much, is just the same case as White Diamond's colors. Their slyly blue hue is moved down and is not fully gray. Here is an example how they would look fully gray. A fun fact is that almost every black paint out there used blue to be created. A cool detail I've noticed is that Pink Diamond gave the crystal gems a literally diamond life. Didn't you stop to think about why they had their own room's chambers? And they even like singing, same as the diamonds do when they are alone, example, yellow singing to blue or pink singing to white blue and yellow in blue's chamber, underwater, that they had to guess. The song Pink was singing, but let's put it on their words so you understand better. A basic human in Earth at that time, 5,000 years ago, I mean, the diamonds were born just 20,000 years ago, meanwhile humans are older than gems in Steven Universe's world, of course. But what I mean is that the diamonds, only the diamonds, were living sort of a human life, singing, enjoying time sometimes, in family, and that the rest of gems were simple computers working for them. Until Pink Diamond cracked out of that reality and started noticing they aren't very different. Then enlightening the crystal gems to be living this diamond life, because if you remember, gems weren't allowed to sing, laugh, or have interactions outside working with each other. Did you know that Pink Diamond's eyes are different than the rest because that sort of? Separated lines eyes represent minimalism, which when designing that could mean that the character is small, you can note this detail with the pebbles too, them being smaller, their eyes are drawn this way. You can also tell she's the smallest of her kind. Because of that too. But other, smaller characters compared to the diamonds aren't like this. Because they aren't smaller to each other, example Steven and the gems. Also here are some cool fun facts about Lapis. Have you noticed that Lapis Lazuli changed her color palette when reforming in the episode, Change Your Mind? When she was brought to Earth along Blue Diamond's court, she had her debut regeneration. After getting poofed and reformed, she reformed the same because homeworld gems don't change her appearance when reforming, only the crystal gems slash rebels did it because they are like that. But when Lapis changing her appearance after long long time of not doing so, this caused her color. Palette to change to a slyly bright blue colors. In both of her songs, she always talks about colors examples. Why so blue? And I see the colors fading. So many shades of sun. I finally feel my color shining through Mixed into my hue This fits a lot. Because, when light touches water, you can see rainbows, and because lapis lazuli control water, she would be able to be seeing those colors most of the time when the sun is reflecting her wings or manipulated water. Another cool fact is that for the first time we see a gem have a different color accessory in their clothing when reforming, but 
this is not really that is because lapis lazulis in real life come mostly with a yellow part in their gemstone that yellow part is actually other gemstone that's mostly mixed with the lapis lazulis these are bits of parietes another example of usage of yellow in lapis lazulis is nice lapis her freckles are yellow indicating that nice lapis and lapis both have pyrite bits in their gemstones and have you ever wonder of why garnet's color palette changed drastically well this is my theory about it when Rose passed away, her regeneration was the debut regeneration. We saw when the show first aired, her iconic red and black outfit. You can note that Garnet's personality changed from the episode, the return to the episode Jailbreak, both season 1 finale episodes. During the whole season 1, Garnet's physical actions were run by Ruby, you can tell that Rose's passing affected them both a lot. Garnet being aggressive saying, I thought violence was the solution in the episode, too many birthdays, but you may ask, where's Sapphire in all of this? Well, Sapphire actually controls Garnet's emotional actions, the leadership and directions are all ran by Sapphire. That when complementing this two facts, we got Garnet from season one. Her design mostly representing Ruby, but with Sapphire inside. We can look in all Garnet regenerations and we can see that she was indeed purple when she was first formed, indicating they were mixed equally. But after time passed, one took more control than the other at times. In Jailbreak, when she reformed and looked purplish and with a more warm personality, we could tell their relationship was most balanced, both taking control over physical and emotional actions together. Unlike before, where they were drastic at both because of Rose's passing. This could have been happening since before too. We know Garnet can see the future, and in the 80s, Garnet had the same colors. Indicating something wasn't gonna be right soon. Rose's passing, probably she already knew this, but just let it be because she couldn't really tell Rose no to do something she wanted. Well, that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and play my game in Roblox, Steven Universe Future Era 3 RP by Tim Suki to support the channel and the game. And don't forget you can become a membership supporter to support the channel, this type of content, and the developing of the era one. Stay good and see you next time.